Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to model dividing unit fractions by whole numbers. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now again, we're going to be doing unit fractions divided by whole numbers. So unit fractions, that just means your fraction has to have a numerator of one. Now I have videos for other situations as far as modeling dividing fractions. I dropped those links down in the description. There's also links for videos for dividing fractions without models. So let's jump right into number one where we have one third divided by five. So we're starting with one third and we're dividing that one third into five equal groups. I started with a model of one third here. So again, we need to split that into five equal groups. The one third is going vertical or up and down. So let's divide into five equal groups going horizontal or side to side. So I'll start with one group, two, three, four, and five. So that represents one third divided into five equal groups. So now we need to select one of those five equal groups. I find it easiest just to select the top, but it really doesn't matter what group you select. One, two, three, four, five groups there. So we selected the top group. Now we need to see how many total pieces are filled in within that top group. And we have one. So that's going to be the numerator of our answer. Now our denominator, this is a common mistake here, is not going to be one, two, three pieces, three total pieces within that top group. That just gives us one third, which was our original fraction. We need how many total pieces within that whole square. So we have a five by three array there. So we could do five times three is 15. That will give us the total amount of pieces there and we get an answer of 1 15th. Again, how I got 15, we have five rows by three columns. So that gives us 15 or you can count them individually. One, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, there's 15 total pieces there. So that model represents, we started with one third and we split or divided that one third into five equal groups and we ended up with one fifteenth. So let's move on to number two where we have one sixth divided by four. So we start with a model of one sixth and we need to split into four equal groups. So one, two, three and four. So now select one of those groups. I'm going to select the top here and we need to see how many pieces of that top group are filled in. Well, we have one, so that's going to be our numerator. Then we need to see how many total pieces there are and we have a four by six. So we could do four times six to get us 24. Or again, you can count the individual pieces if you'd like whatever works for you. And we get 1 24th as our answer. Again, we started with 1 6th and we split or divided that 1 6th into four equal groups. And that got us to an answer of 1 24th. So there you have it. There's how you model dividing unit fractions by whole numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.